Tragically, hip frontman Gord Downey has announced he will be releasing a new album, a new graphic novel and film, all inspired by the tragedy of Canada's residential school system. I'm joined now by Dwight Dory. You're the National Chief of In the Indigenous Peoples Assembly of Canada. What are your thoughts on Downey's uh, new project? Well, I'm quite pleased to hear that. It's uh, something that uh, is very encouraging when you see uh, an individual of, of that stature and, and, and that well-known uh, making those kinds of uh, open public statements uh, about change that's needed and supporting it. Downey says that his project was inspired by 1967 uh, McLean's article that detailed uh, the death of a 12-year-old First Nations boy named Chanji Wenjak who died the year before after running away from a residential school near Kenora, Ontario. How often do we hear about stories like Chanji's? Well, we've been hearing a lot about them uh, recently, you know, but uh, uh, in the past they haven't drawn very much attention other than within our own communities. Now, I think there's, there's a, a broader interest and there's a broader focus on these kinds of uh, situations. He's calling out all Canadians, saying that this isn't an Aboriginal problem. It's a problem for all of Canada. How true does that ring? The Indigenous uh, people's situation uh, as it is today in, uh, in Canada is not, it's not just a government issue, it's not just uh, our issue as Indigenous leaders, it's a Canadian issue. So during one of the final concerts for the Tragically Hips, millions were tuned in, the Prime Minister was there in the audience and Gord Downey called out the Prime Minister and he also said uh, that we need to uh, bring and fix the issues up in Northern Ontario. Well, I, I think we're starting to see more, more of that ha happen. Uh, uh, you know, it it's, wasn't that long ago that, uh, uh, you know, we heard uh, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, uh, you know, a very uh, well-known uh, movie star in Hollywood, you know, having recently ma made, uh, made a movie about the Indigenous culture, and, and he's saying those things. So, uh, uh, you know, hopefully these are the kinds of people who have high profile where, where people pay attention to, particularly young people. I am a stranger. You can't see me. And very encouraging when you have f famous people recognized by, by virtually everybody, and particularly young people uh, that are, um, uh, you know, carrying the message for us. Uh, I would venture to guess and, and hope that. Uh, by him doing this, he will encourage more even younger people who have a, a closer connection with our young people uh, for them to be uh, doing something similar. We saw the last residential school closing in 1996. Where have we seen the conversation growing? Well, the Truth and Reconciliation Commission and its report uh, is the basis, I guess, of the ongoing process and you know the the means to uh, uh, hopefully uh, truly affect uh, the change in 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 perception of the, the residential schools for Canadians in general and the public but also at the same time to uh, hopefully try and come to some closure for the victims of the residential school because it's multi-generational